welcome back to my channel and I have finally another favorites video for you. I really missed the bus last year. I didn't do November or December favorites. So today's favorites, my January favorites, is going to be quite a big one because it's more kind of products I actually loved in November and December. Some of the products I only received in December, um, but obviously being January favorites, I've had the whole of the month of January and part of December to use them and know if I love them or not. So yeah, they will be quite a big one. I also have for the first time in I think the history of my favorites, a non-favorite, a very, 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 very non-favorite. So I'm gonna get the first negative product off my chest, purely because I would like to just get the one bad out of the way and then I can end off on a whole load of good products. Unfortunately, it is the Johnson's Vita Rich Smoothies Comforting Body Lotion with yogurt, honey, and oats. I do have pretty sensitive skin, more to the point that my skin just reacts sometimes to certain things. Um, my face is a whole different kettle of fish, but my body doesn't like harsh fragrances, which is odd. Um, I've used Luxe products before my body that have broken me out in a full body rash, yet I don't have an issue with the Body Shop products at all. So it's not technically fragrance, it's just certain kinds of fragrance or very strong fragrances. So when my mixer ran out, um, I knew I had to replace it with something. I have a Nivea body lotion at the moment, but it's quite rich, so I thought, well, let me put that aside for winter, maybe, uh, and I'll get my usual product. However, I went to Checkers to do groceries. I didn't have time to stop at another store and pop into, say, just came or clicks or run into spa, and they didn't have stock of mixer. And then I saw the Johnson's Vita Rich, and I thought, I've heard so many great things about it. I mean, it smells. It's, it's got a very delicate fragrance. It's not an overpowering, strong fragrance, but it smells lovely. And it's yogurt, honey, and oats. Yogurt, honey, and oats are all soothing products. I mean, my Mixer Soothing Body Lotion has oat milk in. So I figured to myself, I can't really go wrong, can I? Like, this shouldn't be a problem. I had a sniff, it didn't smell too strong. I applied it that night after my shower and I applied it the next morning after my shower before going to work. By the time I got home, I actually wish I'd taken photos, but I was so embarrassed of how it looked, I didn't, I didn't. By the time I got home, I had a full body rash, but not just that. In the creases of my elbows, it was red and irritated, fine little red bumps over my whole arms and my back and my, and my stomach and my legs. And then I had what looked like welts. And my husband thought I was being silly when I was like, oh my goodness, I have got, I've got like some weird red welt on my skin. Until I actually got undressed to shower and I saw how bad it was. I had them starting from here all the way up my arms like in odd patches, here, across my chest. At first my husband thought it was heat rash because it had been quite a warm day, but still. And then I looked at my back in the mirror and my back was just a mess of red patches, angry dry, flaky, sore patches. It could not have been anything else. This was literally the only product I changed in my routine. I had not changed any of my um, washing stuff for my clothes. We were using the same Stay Soft, the same washing powder. Literally nothing had changed and I'd used it twice. So I freaked out because, you know, my body heals a lot slower. I don't like it when I have these problems happen because it's gonna take a while to rectify itself. Luckily, for the most part, it's gone and I've only got dry patches on the odd area now. I quickly showered, washed myself with my Dove soap. I can always rely on my Dove. I put on the Nivea lotion, which is no fragrance. It was just one of the, it's a tub of like the firming body lotions. Yes, I felt sticky, but I also didn't feel itchy and sore. Within, I, I, I literally showered that night and then I showered again the next morning. And even before I showered the next morning, it had calmed down. By the time I came home the next day, it had faded dramatically, which shows it must have been this. I know a lot of people love it and they've got normal skin. Anyway, I'm gonna jump in to the rest of the stuff that did work for me and that I loved. Mostly obviously January, but I did use some of them in November and December as well. I have, which I finished this morning, I'm very sad, my JS Health Detox and Deep Bloat. bought this off Vita Girl, and then I was sent another of the JS Health products from Healthy Home SA. I fully, fully, fully believe this brand is worth the money. Uh, I only took one of these a day, and I didn't even take them every day, which is why the bottles lasted so long. I'm in a very bad routine where on weekdays I'll, I'll usually, for the most part, stick to it, and then weekends I fall off my supplement train, which is not very good, but you know, 
let's be honest. I found a substantial difference in how my stomach felt, how my digestion worked, um, my bloating, my discomfort. Um, honestly, superb. Like in my in my little mini review, I did mention that I did have a bit of a problem with breakouts in the beginning, so I stopped it and I had to get onto a stress supplement because I was breaking out worse because I was very stressed. But as soon as I had the stress under control, I did have a couple of little like bumps, a little bit of texture, but you're detoxing your body. That's completely normal. I know that it helped my bloating and my digestion. I definitely felt like I had more energy as well. My body was feeling cleaner, running better. So McNabs are, to me, mostly known for those little sachets you can get. I did not know that they'd started doing fizzies. Like I knew that they extended the range from the energy things to like the chill ones, which help you chill out. I've used those and they're very good by the way. So these are the supercharged fizz, fast release, no artificial colors and flavors. It's basically it has guarana, bee complex and ginseng. And what's really nice is they're strawberry lemonade flavored. They are so delicious. They actually smell like strawberry Nesquik, but then they've got a very like good lemonade flavor with a tiny little bit of berry. They're very, very delicious and they work really, really, really well. I really find them effective. When I'm feeling very flat, I pop one of these. So I'm actually, I've only got about two or three left. Hmm, there's a broken one there, two left. I'm actually going to go and repurchase these this weekend, I think. On to body care. I don't have any hair care because I was trying to finish up hair products I owned. So I've got three body products. I'm going to start with the one that's already almost finished. I'm actually quite embarrassed. I got sent a Clix beauty box at the end of last year for Christmas with a whole load of goodies and thank you so much Clix. It excited me like you can't believe. One of them was the Sorbet Salon Pro Moisturizing Hand and Nail Treatment with Hyaluronic Acid. got this middle of December guys I put any other hand creams I had to the side to use this because it's so good oh it's not sticky it's not greasy yet your hands feel so soft and it smells I don't know what it smells like it just smells delicious it smells absolutely incredible definitely gonna repurchase it almost out I don't think this will even last another week In the shower, I've been loving the Body Shop Warm Vanilla Shower Gel. It's from their limited edition Christmas range. Every year they do it. I was very distraught to find out that the um, Peppermint Candy Cane did not make a reappearance in 2019. Body Shop, please make it happen for the end of 2020. It's my favorite. Now, now I'll buy so much stock. Um, oh, love vanilla. Love the Body Shop. Love their, love their shower gels. Amazing product. Superb. Love it. I have got the Elizabeth Arden White Tea Wild Rose. I was sent the three Elizabeth Arden White Tea fragrances toward the end of last year. The original, the Wild Rose, and the Vanilla Orchid. The Vanilla Orchid, I love. I love vanilla fragrances, but it's definitely going to be more of a winter fragrance because it's quite a bit sweeter. Whereas the Wild Rose is a beautiful kind of musky floral. It's just divine. Um, I did a little mini review of it on my Instagram feed lately when I posted my last set of nails. And superb. I mean, I've already used that much of the perfume since I got it in December. So it speaks volumes. Let's get on to skincare. This was another item in my Clix Beauty Box. And it's been very, very talked about online at the moment. <laughs> A lot of people have been asking me, is it worth it, does it work? I have an entire highlight on my Instagram feed called Sorbet Device. Just head over there and click it. And I actually did a whole video in all of my gorgeous clay mask and hair mask glory and spoke about it. Guys, this genuinely works. It's 214 Rand and it works like an absolute bomb. You click the button and it beeps. I don't think you can see on the camera, but it does light up with blue and red lights. And then after two minutes of you using it, it beeps twice. I just turned it off. Um, I, you can either just hold it on the exact pimple that you're trying to heal, whereas I've got like a patch of hormonal spots that have popped up there. So I just move it over them like that. Two minutes in the morning, two minutes at night, guys. It's four minutes out of your day. I, when I'm stressed, get those little breakouts here on my neck. Just tiny little red bumps um, after one use. 
at night I wake up and they're basically gone. The hormonal ones, like that. Two days ago, that was about three times its size. Haven't even used any products, I've just used my light therapy pen. I have the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. I've spoken to you guys about this many times. I think this is like my fourth one. Um, I love the whole range. I love the one with green tea and cucumber. I love the one with lavender and vitamin C in. Love them all. The lavender one is great at night time. Um, but the rose has my heart. It smells. It smells like Turkish delight. I mean, I got this in December, guys. And I'm really half. I'm more than halfway through it. That's actually shocking. I need to slow down. Very hydrating. It makes skin feel like really juicy and glowy. Next up is the Strivectin Advanced Glow Triphase Daily Glow Toner. Um, I was sent this by Metropolitan Cosmetics. As you can see, it's got one, two, three layers. And then you shake it up and it becomes a kind of milky consistency. I just pop it onto a cotton pad, swipe it over my face, leave it to sink in for a couple of minutes. It contains hyaluronic, lactic, and mandelic acid, and NIA114. It's one of the Stravectin trademarked things. So you guys know I really love my hyaluronic acid. I'm not too clued up on mandelic acids. I must actually do some research into that. I only use it a very little bit of a time, very little bit at a time, which is why there's only that much missing. Um, I can use it morning and night. If I'm going to use it in the morning, I must put a good SPF on. Obviously, it's got lactic acid in. Oh, it's beautiful, guys, honestly. And with it, it's got a slightly oily texture to it that sinks in. It doesn't leave my skin looking greasy, but my skin feels comforted when I use it, which I love. This is actually my third bottle of this product. And for the last couple of years, I've not wanted to repurchase it because I've had so many facial oils in my collection. And I love them all. And it is the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate. Oh, it's just heavenly. It has a beautiful blend of essential oils. It smells like lavender. So using this, especially if you use the Mario Badescu Lavender Facial Spray and then follow with this, it really sets the mood for bedtime. It's not greasy. It sinks in very, very fast. It doesn't leave my skin feeling sticky. It smells incredible. And I notice a big difference in my skin the next day. It's one of those things where you don't, you don't know exactly what has, what has been done that looks better. You just look better. You look glowy. You look fresh. You look like you've had a good eight hours sleep. And I've also noticed with the pimples that they also heal up quicker and don't leave marks as much when I use this consistently. I have my makeup products, so let's get to those. So the day that Essence discontinued these and did not sell them in South Africa anymore, it was a sad day. Of all the Essence products, you guys know I'm quite picky with Essence. It's the Essence Luminous Matte Bronzing Powder. They have a shade for lighter skin, which is my winter shade, and then the one for darker skin. The biggest difference with these is they say luminous and matte. It's very confusing. They're not a glowy bronzer whatsoever. If you look at them, that outer darker ring is a matte bronzer, and the inner ring is, it's not even, it's not even a satin finish, it's just, got a subtle 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 glow to it very very subtle you can see that that's a matte bronzer and then that just looks like a lighter bronzer see that very subtle sheen to it absolutely beautiful they give the most natural bronze ever and I found them on runway sale for like I think they were like 29 rand each I bought one of each shade for myself because I wanted to buy everything but I have so many bronzes I could not honestly do that in good conscience and then I bought my sister the light shade as well because she's got very fair skin and I'm trying to teach her to use bronzer more I have also been loving the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur I know this was a favorite last year sometime but over December when I wasn't wearing as much actual foundation I find this was the thing I was reaching for like if I was going to see friends at their house or I was going to my in-laws I was you know, having people over here and I didn't want to wear a full face of makeup, I would 
slap on some of my gorgeous beauty blur. I have the shade Latte Light, it's for light to medium skin tone. Obviously apply that all over my face, smooth it out. It does apply better with fingers, I'm gonna be honest. It does not apply as well with brush, and I've tried with three different brushes. I like to apply it with my fingers over my whole face and then just blend in with my sponge. It kind of just blurs everything, evens out your skin tone and gives you this gorgeous glow. Um, yes, I have combo skin. No, I did not care about the glow because I looked radiant. I looked beaming with health. It was amazing. And then I would just take a concealer, put a little bit under the eyes if there was any darkness because let's be honest, we all party hard in December. And I would blend that out and spot conceal anything else. And then for the concealers, The one that I actually was reaching for more and more to go with the Beauty Blur was the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. I have the shade 328 Biscuit. Um, if you guys saw my Instagram stories, I did actually complain about my previous tube. I'm not sure what happened. It was not in extreme heat. It sat right here in my drawer and the entire base actually swelled up. So it was round and then swelled on the sides. I wasn't putting that on my face. It was obviously just a fault with the packaging. I got hold of them and they sent me the same shade, which is very kind. Thank you very much, L'Oreal. It is very thick. It's very pigmented. You do not need a lot of product at all. And I love the big applicator. Beautiful, lasts amazingly. Um, really, really good for spot concealing if that's your thing. And then the only high-end concealer I own and love is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. Guys, it so lives up to the hype. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Um, I got the shade two. I ordered it off Superbalist. So I didn't really know what shade I would be. I knew that friends of mine were shade one, some were shade four. I, I kind of figured for under the eyes, for highlighting, I did want something a little bit lighter. Um, and I'll be able to use it happily in winter. Um, it is too fair if I want to obviously spot conceal anything else. So while I can use it under the eyes, I can't really use it on the rest of my face. But it is so good that I want to go and get a darker shade now for the rest of my face. Um, I don't know what shade that will be because obviously they have different tones to them. This is a warm undertone though, which I'm very, very happy with. It covers everything. You don't need a lot of product. It doesn't look cakey because it's cakeless and it is literally the only concealer I've ever used under my eyes that I do not have to set with powder. And then finally, I have a brow product that has wowed me. It's the Elizabeth Arden Beautiful Color Brow Perfector. I have the shade brown, I think it is. I think it only comes in two shades, brown and soft black. I love that it has a spoolie and a very good quality one at that. It's got the very, very fine tipped pencil for lining the outside of your brows. And then for filling in, there's a little canister of powder there and a soft sponge applicator. It is so easy to use. It makes doing your brows so quick, so simple. It's like literally faultless. I don't have a single bad thing to say about this. Absolutely obsessed. And I'm actually having to force myself to reach for other brow products so I don't finish this up straight away. That is it for me, guys. Um, obviously, like I said, January favorites, but a lot of them were used in December and even November as well. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't want to miss any videos, please click that notification bell. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.